Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be my double boxy charm. We've got the premium and the boxy luxe. I think the premium is the bottom because it's slightly smaller, but I'm not 100%, so we'll open those up. Um, this is my first video back. Um, I've had surgery twice in the last week. Most of the videos you've seen the last couple of weeks and that you'll see in the videos coming up were pre-filmed, so this video is live um, filming it editing it. it's going to go up roughly same day so um, if anybody wants to know I can do a story time video on what's been going on but yeah we're just going to get into the boxy charms if you want to see what I got this month and just keep on watching oh make sure you're subscribed before you leave and yeah we're going to get into okay. it right so boxy premium is 35 a month Boxy Lux is an upgrade from the base box. The normal boxy and the camera. The normal normal boxy charm is 25. And then you have the option every three months to upgrade. So it's an additional 25, bringing it up to 50 for the boxy lux. Um, I think the boxy base with the lux upgrade option is probably the best way to go if you're thinking about signing up. I do have a referral link. I will try and remember and put it down below. So yeah, premium's 35. Lux is 50, the base box is 25. So the months that I get boxy Lux, obviously I don't get a base box. So I think this is the premium box on top here. These came while I was in the hospital. They said I had to have surgery twice this last week. So I can try and film a story time if anybody's interested. Okay, yeah, this bottom one definitely feels heavier. So I'm gonna assume that that is Let's put the premium one. I'll just set it in my lap here. There's the outside of the box. I was surprised they came. Um, when my husband picked me up today, he said that the box, the charm boxes were here. And I actually got my Ipsy Plus, so they're on top of it this month. Because I literally just got the tracking for these. So this is Glam Vibes only. There's the card. I have variation 13 for this one. I think I forgot to say that last month, but... Okay, so when we open her up, this is what she looks like. And again, I don't know. Yeah, this is the premium one, I believe. We're going to go with that. Okay, so the first thing I see in here is an ice roller from Kitsch um, Cleanse Rituals. So this, yes, I could just leave my box cutter out here. Okay. So this retails for $18. So it's just, you put it in the fridge. It's just a cold roller. I have a jade roller that I also like to use and then one that's slightly textured and it does kind of help work it's, it's nice um, just for depuffing, but also if you put skincare on and then use this, it does help the skincare penetrate better. So I do like these. I will use it. Again, that's an $18 value. Girls, my dogs always have to play when I'm filming. Okay, next we have the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. This is the item I picked. This is a hydro full retexturizing gel. This sounded interesting. You can use it as a morning or night cream. Um, I opened, what did I open? I have a Sunday Riley cream that I keep in my vanity area and then this Alamasca one. This one stays a little bit tacky, but I thought I could put this one um, in the bathroom and use as my night cream because it does say it has resurfacing properties. My um, It Cosmetics moisturizer is almost gone so this was going to replace that so that's what the packaging looks like this retails for $59 um, it's a multitasking moisturizer has perfect combination of moisturizing and retexturing results um, I am getting some texture as I'm getting older so yeah this is I was I got I picked this out not that I don't have other creams in my stash but to replace my it cosmetics cream in my bathroom because I have some I keep in there for night obviously you saw the two I keep over here for day my wooden dogs in here my husband took my other one out okay so let's move on then we have 
Emma Hardy. This is a Brilliance Facial Oil Overnight Treatment. Increases moisture levels, elasticity, balances skin. This retails for 55. So we're already at, um, we're over 100, so we're at like 130 already just with these three items. I'm not a huge, I haven't been a huge facial oil fan. I do have one from Sunday Riley that has turmeric in it that I use at night. So I might keep this in the bathroom and give this a try just because of the hydration properties in it. My skin, even though it's dry and dehydrated, I feel like the oils take a long time to soak in. So like my Sunday Riley oil, I barely like use three drops maybe so I'm gonna have that forever I got that in an allure box but it works really good it's got vitamin C in it but yeah the, this will last me forever because the oils just take a long time to soak in so the definitely good for nighttime but so we'll try that and we have something from Stila this is the waterproof eyeliner I got mine in smoky quartz which looks like a brown one I do like their um so it's just a pencil liner i do like their liquid liner if this will roll up it doesn't seem like it wants to roll up i'll fiddle with it later but yeah i do like their liquid liner it's one of my favorite goes it's one of my favorites so and i do like using pencils in the waterline again that's been something I've gone back to doing because my eyes have not been running as much. And this retails for 22. Then we got a Milk Makeup Kush Lip Scrub. I probably need to go through my lip scrubs and declutter some. So it's just a like a lip balm with granules. I have one from Pure. I like these because um, you can just rub them on. I do have a potted one got a nice magnetic closure on um, this retails for 22 also these stick ones are nice um elf makes one too that's really inexpensive because you don't have to touch it it's already you can just rub it on and i do place i need, need to go through my lip scrubs and probably throw a couple away and then i'll keep that one and then last i think that's it there's cardboard in the bottom of this make sure there's nothing, there's nothing underneath the last thing is a palette and this is the queen um, a Queen Lies and All of Us, and this is from Alois. If I can get it out of the sleeve. There it goes. Let's see, it's 20 pigmented. Let's see, there's eight mattes, six shimmers, one pressed pearl, four metallics, and a duochrome. And this retails for... 46. I've never heard of this brand. Reminds me of Juvia's Place. Oh, that's pretty. Like the outer packaging kind of reminds me of Juvia's Place. Definitely colors I will use. There's no pressed glitters. That's pretty. So I will give that a try because I've never heard of this brand. But those are colors that I like. Got some neutrals, some pinks, some purples. So I'm not going to put that back in the sleeve. I'll never get it out. Okay. So we got a palette the um, retexturizing moisturizer from Marc Jacobs. We got a facial oil, the cold roller, um, the milk lip scrub, and the eyeliner. Not bad items. I wouldn't say that this is a super like super exciting box, but I'm going to keep everything and use everything, so I didn't lose anything out of that one. So There's that, because if there's stuff that I don't think I'm going to use, I put it in giveaways for you guys. So let's get into the Lux box. Now we got to pick two things in here. I picked one. The second one, out of the choices, there really wasn't anything that I was like, oh, I need to have that. So I said for them to pick it. So I only chose one item and it's something that's going to go in my bathroom. And again, same card. I have variation 17. Okay, let me pull out the item that I picked. And this is the pharmacy. I like pharmacy products a 
lot. This is the Pharmacy Cheer Up Cherry Brightening Vitamin C Eye Cream. I have an eye cream in my bathroom that I've been using for several months. It's not bad, but it's one of those that's supposed to diminish dark circles. I don't know if it's really doing anything. My under eyes are still pretty dry. It's not hydrating very much. So I, I picked this out specifically to replace that. I will probably use that up and then toss it, but I just wanted to see if this smells like cherries because it has cherries on it. No, it doesn't have a smell. So there it is, just a potted, little potted eye cream. So hopefully this offers a little more um, hydration. Yeah, the brightening, vitamin C is good for brightening and then it's with the Cariola cherries. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but so. That's the item that I picked. That will also go in my bathroom. Um, I'm seeing a big thing in here. And that retails for $45. Let's pull out this. This is a big guy. This is a deep conditioning mask. Cara therapy. Is this for your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Revives and repairs dry or damaged hair. These are good. I have a ton of these in my bathroom, but as you can see my hair is lightened. Um, I washed it earlier and did blow dry it so you can see the curl underneath is starting to come through. <clears throat> I think if I did that thing where you put it up in a towel, it would be all curly. The bleach has kind of wrecked my curl pattern, but my hair is dry, needless to say. So I do like hair masks, so I will keep this and get to it at some point. And that retails for $24. Next we have, this is a body wash, Calm and Clean Epsom Salt Hand and Body Wash with lavender oil. So that's just a, like a body, just regular shower gel. This retails for $39.95, nothing over the, that'll go in my drawer and then if I don't end up using it, it'll get tossed in with a giveaway. This is something I'm probably not going to keep. I don't know. This is the Tan Lux, the gradual tanning lotion. This retails for $33.3. I don't, this may end up in a giveaway. I don't know. I've never been a big self tanner or user. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this item or not. It's not bad. A lot of people like self tanners, so... I'm not necessarily mad at it. I just don't think I'm personally going to use it. Let's see. Um, we did get a Fenty product. I was looking at this. This is a Persona Cosmetics Power Brush for 24. It's dual sided. Again, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. I don't know if I'll get any use out of it. So I'm going to leave that in the package. But there's that. So we got two things that I'm kind of like, eh. Those will probably go in giveaway boxes. Um, so this is a creamy, long-lasting, I think it's a cream highlighter. I think, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. Long wear cream powder hybrid is what it says. It can range from subtle to day glow to instantly supercharge. Let's see, this retails for 36. Packaging is really nice. And I got Metal Moon is the shade. nice. I'm happy already because they do have some really dark shades. It is kind of a cream powder hybrid, but I'm glad I got a wearable color. That's pretty because I can make that work for sure. So we're excited about that. Yeah, I knew we were possibly getting a Fenty item. So I was, yeah, there's a bunch of different shade variations for that and some of like Trophy Wife, I have Trophy Wife. It's very, very gold and to be very careful with that because it's meant for deeper skin tones than mine. Let's see, and then we got from Eleven Skin, got some Rose Gold Brightening Face Masks. This is a good brand. Um, this retails for $135. There's a pack of five. I will give these a try. Um, face masks, if you've been subscribed, you know, hit and miss for me. Um, so I will try one. And then if I end up having a reaction, obviously I'll break these up and start throwing them in um, with my giveaway stuff. So yeah, we'll give it a try. 
Um, I think there's something that they put in them as a preservative because yeah, sometimes I have reactions to face masks and sometimes I don't. Oh, and I haven't picked winners um, for last month's giveaway just because we were out of town and then I had to have surgery. So um, I'll pick those and there will be a giveaway. I'll do one at the end of this video and then possibly in one of my other videos, but last item, and this is from Hip, Hip Dot, am I saying that brand? Hip Dot, Zion Eyeshadow Palette retails for 30. Haven't heard of this brand either. Let's see, and with the sleeves. Okay, pressed, pressed pigment palette. That's all it says. Oh, and also very nice color schemes. Yeah, these are, again, shades I will use very pretty so yeah that's everything I got um not keeping two things I don't think that's bad so let me pick out my giveaway items and then I will show you what I'll be doing. so I'm gonna do the tanning lotion out of that box and then this brush just a little dual ended brush so those are the two things out of luck that I'm not gonna keep but there's gonna be a fresh Bless the Flesh to Fresh Highlighter from Flesh in the shade Lift. Because I thought this brush would actually be good. Like, you could use it for highlight on the one end. So, I pulled out a highlighter. And it's just a nice, like, champagne gold. I haven't touched it, but. Wearable shade. It's my favorite shade of highlighter. I just... I have like 10 champagne gold highlighters, so I didn't keep this one. Um, there'll be that. There's a little bath set in here. Um, white jasmine lotion and um, body spray. A <clears throat> red lipstick from Ulta. It's a little more on the bricky red side than red red. And then um, this little Dominique Cosmetics palette in... Um, I think sweater weather was the name of this little I do like these colors they're just really light and I don't foresee myself using this a ton it's all matte so I figured I would pass that on to somebody else so yeah this is a little bit bigger of a giveaway than I would normally do um usually I have two smaller ones I don't know if I'm going to get a second one up just because of health wise and everything so I figured I would do a bigger one and then I will pick winners for last month so there's still time to enter if you haven't entered last month's giveaways and then for this giveaway all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel I'll leave me a comment down below with a way to get a hold of you either email Instagram um, if you get um, YouTube notifications on your comments then just leave me a comment so yeah, and then I'm gonna close. Okay, yeah. so hopefully that wasn't too long. Again, you still have time to enter my last months. I do apologize for not picking winners. I had planned on doing it while I was on vacation and I forgot and then had to have surgery on my our way back and then had to have surgery again like three days later. So I just got home, still in recovery. So bear with me, I apologize. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I'm gonna try and film my Ipsy unboxing and that should go up right after this one. Um, everybody stay safe and hopefully I will see you all in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.